Welcome back to another episode of Visions for Health. I'm Wendy Trubo, and my guest today is Lori Sawyer, registered physical therapist, and we'll be talking today about the dangers of a desk job, how to identify if you have a problem, and how to fix it and prevent it. Lori, welcome. Thank you for having me. So delighted we could do this. I'm already thinking, should I not put my hands on my, on my armchairs? So You're safe. I'm okay. So how'd you get into physical therapy? Oh, many moons ago. Um, the real story? Yeah. Um, okay. So when I was a senior in high school, um, I had um, a personal um, occurrence where my grandmother fractured her wrist. Oh. And uh, long story short, I was, um, my mom was working. Uh, this was in the late 70s. And um, I brought her to uh, physical therapy. In those days, it was a very, very, it, the field was in its infancy. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to sit in this orthopedic doctor's office, and his wife was the clinician, the physical therapist, and I would be fascinated um, by what was going on there. Um, and it inspired me, actually, to pursue the field. Um, so I went to college. I really was an undeclared major my freshman year, and um, and I volunteered in a hospital that was about an hour away from where I was going to uh, a school in upstate New York, mm -hmm. um, and I volunteered in their PT department, and, and the rest, I guess, is history. And here um, you I are. I loved it. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. liked it a lot. So. So talk to me about, I, I don't think I know anyone who's without at least one computer, mm -hmm. if not two or three or four. Exactly. So what are the risks or dangers of a, of a computer, of computer work? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In a nutshell. Well, right, exactly. So, um, you know, what has happened over the years as I've been in this field, I've, you know, Half of what I see today are those types of um, related and unrelated problems that people have. Um, and these are people that are um, older people, middle-aged people, young kids, mm -hmm. and that's the scary part. Um, You're every, seeing more young kids than you used to? Absolutely. We okay. see a ton of kids um, with... It's, it's gaming, mm -hmm. um, it's um, iPhones, Texting. It's, it's, it's all of that. It's okay. all of that. Our entire society um, is doing something handheld or with a device or work-related that's computer-related. So it's, it's epidemic, really, is what's going on. So let's start with the basics. Mm -hmm. you're, at your, you're at your desk and you're on a laptop. Mm -hmm. What are the problems with that? So, um, well, I think we should begin by saying laptops are very prevalent today, um, more so than before, because of convenience. Mm -hmm. um, and so what has happened is I can do work anywhere using this device. Um, and so just to begin the conversation, um, Laptop is, is a one-piece unit where there's a screen and a keyboard attached to one another. And just by that nature, um, uh, it presents as a problem because things are too close, too fixated, and um, immediately it puts my body in a poor mechanical design to operate the device. So let me ask a question about that. <laughs> You're talking about either my hands are too high or my head is too low because they're so close together? And all of the above, typically. Typically, when I'm on a laptop, um, I'm not sitting in a proper chair. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes, I'm on a couch or uh, holding it in my, in my lap, i.e. a laptop. Um, I'm, I'm not set up in the best uh, mechanical position that I should be in. So right away, you, you nailed it. I'm there, okay. exactly. So my head is forward, my shoulders are round, um, my arms are too high, 
Um, I'm my low back is not supported, so immediately. So you're so you're. Let me. I'm trying to think like if I had a laptop on my lap, right. it would be here, but I'd be hunched over. Exactly. Looking at so, it. So so if we break you down right from there. Okay, so I'm going uh, back into. So position. you're there, and you're there for multiple hours. Oh yeah, um, I can imagine. Right. Everything feels kind of wrong. Exactly. Okay. And and it's and it Shoulders over time. Exactly. So my head is forward. I begin to have stress and strain. I can develop a headache. I can even develop cervical um, herniated discs and a lot of dysfunction. Um, my neck begins to get tight. My muscles here begin to shorten. I'm weak from behind. Um, I have shoulder problems. I then start to develop elbow problems. Uh, <laughs> I have wrist problems. I have hand problems. And this is who comes in on right. a daily basis. And most people really don't know what's going on until you know they're really hurting. Because most people don't seek care or even realize that there's a relationship until it's way late in the game. Um, so that's, that's a common theme. Okay, so can we break this down? Sure. What is someone to do? <laughs> so we haven't even gotten to regular computers. We're just working mm -hmm. on laptops. Do you recommend attaching a keyboard to the laptop Brilliant. and a separate mouse? Absolutely. There, so there's a suggestion right there. Um, one, take your laptop and physically place it at a desk, um, in a chair, uh, where your lower back is supported so that um, proper posture and alignment transcends. I recommend to folks that they take a simple rolled up towel, a big bath towel, and put some white tape, create a roll so that you align yourself with this towel in your lower back. Okay. What that does... So that brings you Exactly. Out. It, it, it takes all the curves mm -hmm. um, of your spine and puts them in proper okay. so perspective. Now I'm going to sit so, pretending I have the roll. Right. So, and then what? So, so let's just continue on that one a little bit because it's important. So most people are here very forward in their chair. Yeah. There's no support. So we want you to come back and, and assess, Scoot essentially. Scoot your tushy back is what Scoot I say Scoot your tushy kids. back. And, <laughs> and a lot of times desk chairs are too deep for a lot of people, especially women. Yeah. Um, so I always tell people to be very mindful of you know, how deep the chair is and thus that posture curve behind them. <clears throat> so you want to have contact there. That will pull your shoulders automatically and your head and neck back. Um, so that's that aspect. Then you want, we call it the 90-90 rule, where your elbows should be at a 90 degree arc Mm -hmm. And so that you're in terms here, of how close they are. Well, so that you're not up too high and you're not down too low okay. with your keyboard. Um, so it should essentially so land. ninety degrees exactly okay. is is proper. Um, my hips should also be at ninety degrees. Um, so right from here, I should be at ninety degrees. Um, and sometimes that means adjusting seat height, mm -hmm. what have you. Um, my monitor should be in front of me, not off to either side, and excuse me, and um, at eye level, if not slightly below eye level. Okay. So you don't want to be looking. Um, so you don't want to be looking up. You don't want to be looking down. You want to be straight on, okay. if not slightly at a gaze, slightly downward. Um, so, yep. Um, the, they do make keyboards that are ergonomically designed, and that is to keep hands, wrists in good alignment and positioning. Because, I've seen these. They're mm -hmm. very funky looking. Yeah. I mean, these, these are the ones that sort yeah. of angle you like exactly. this? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And they make <clears throat> mouse devices with a trackball. Again, all of these things are designed so that we 
prevent repetitive strain injuries, um, which is what we're talking about. Right. So you want to hold whatever you're working with, either your you know keyboard or your mouse, with a loose hand. Not to a lot of people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like clients. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But that you know, so that you're not over grasping. Um, producing lack of circulation and too much tension in your musculature, basically. Okay. Um, you want to keep changing mouse keyboard, mouse keyboard. Um, in other words, um, not doing the repet, not using your mouse all day long, but trying to mix it up so that there's some keyboard and some mousing going on. Okay. So you don't want to essentially be stuck in one position. Exactly. Exactly. And how close should your mouse be to? Okay, so I'm in my 90 degrees. Yep. My keyboard is here. Yep. So that kind of assumes that my mouse should be right here too. Correct. Yes? Your mouse should be as close to your keyboard as possible. So not um, out here. So not out there. You know, um, it should be so that you're in kind of a neutral hand position. You're not reaching and exerting. What do you mean by neutral? That you're not over so or you're not under Exactly, extended? exactly. You should have about 30 degrees, a little bit technical, of wrist flexion. Which means um, which up is, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, a little bit up and with a Yep, okay. exactly, exactly. And there, are, a lot of times you'll see people who have those wrist rests. Mm -hmm. um, that's a wonderful way to ensure that your hand is maintained in a good position. Okay. Um, so essentially, if it were flat and I put my hand on the mouse, that creates the 30 degree mm -hmm. angle, it seems. Exactly. And close to my keyboard. Exactly. My feet are on the floor. Mm -hmm. My whole, you, I have to tell you, my whole desk <laughs> everywhere is wrong. Believe me, you're not <laughs> alone. I, I recently, and this is a true story, um, gave a talk to a group of physicians, asked me to come in. They were, um, we were talking about computers and, and relationship to headache. Um, and one of the physicians raises her hand and says, um, so I'm, I have all kinds of problems. Um, I sit on the computer for, you know, four or five hours yep. each day and every single day <laughs> for the past five years I've had a headache. And you know, we talked, we began talking about it, and I said, well, what are you doing about it? She said, well, I just take Advil all day. <laughs> this is true. And I said, you take Advil all day? She said, I, I don't know how else to deal with it. So we began breaking down. I had her stand. We began looking at her posture. She had the most forward head, rounded shouldered, you know, tight, tight posture. Mm. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. And then we went over to her work space. Field trip. <laughs> it was a field trip and <laughs> it was it was perfect. Everything about it was wrong. <laughs> and so we made some corrections. Um, we I gave her a number of exercises. A month later I got an email from her. She said from her ergonomically correct workspace, right? From her ergonomically <laughs> correct and she said I cannot believe what has occurred. I don't have a headache. Amazing. And she was it was this is a true story. So, so it's really simple. Difference. It's simple stuff. Yeah. It's just about educating people All right. um, most of the time. So what about, so forward head. Mm -hmm. This is, I know for myself, I actually <laughs> have had to make the, the screen same. print higher, bigger, because I'm always going, right. what is that? Right, right. So what I tell people, we start by chatting um, and what I tell people, I stand people up and I have them drop an imaginary string down from their ceiling. All right, here we go. Okay? I gotta so do if this you can myself. envision this, and I do it all day long because I, I don't sit on a computer, but I'm over tables right. all day for right. 25 years. So I think about my string and where my string should line up. And I stand um, sideways, and I think about that string hitting me in the middle of my ear, 
in the middle of my shoulder blade. Well, I don't know if I can get my head back that uh -huh. far. <laughs> exactly, exactly. In the middle of my hip and in the middle of my ankle. Mm -hmm. So if that string is on a straight line, mm -hmm. hitting those points, I know I'm, I'm right. Essentially going to stand against a wall and making mm -hmm. sure the back of your head, the back of your shoulders, and your you tush and your heels? Yes. Okay. So I call that three points of contact. We stand people against a wall, uh -huh. um, their tush, the backs of their shoulder blades, and the back of their head should hit the back of that wall. Most people, so we actually do it, um, and this is what you find most of the time. And so then when you ask somebody to, to get their head back, they go like this. <laughs> and that's what and you there say, they and there they are. How about when um, driving? Should you also try same. to have your head hit the headrest? Yes. When you're driving? Yes. Because that... Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't want to mess my hair up when I'm driving, but, <laughs> but at least it can be close. <laughs> close. Exactly. Exactly. Brushing. But if you're mindful of your posture and you, you know, attempt to always be mindful of your posture, and you make these subtle changes on the computer and you get up and you move about. You know, another common problem is that we get distracted. We're sitting there for two and three hours at a time at least. And that's a big problem. So, you know, telling people that they need to um, get up every 30 minutes and walk around and stretch out, and we show them some simple exercises to do you know, right in front of the computer, it really helps a lot. So every 30 minutes, essentially take a break of some Walk sort, around. stand exactly. up. Okay, exactly. let me ask you a question. Uh, I per personally really don't like those trays that pull mm -hmm. out because they always hit my knees. Mm -hmm. It bugs me greatly. Mm -hmm. So it, um, is it allowed to have the keyboard on the top of the desk, Absolutely. but have blocks to put my feet on so that my so, feet are touching so that's, in this? Yes. So what I tell people, you know, today we don't use um, uh, phone books as we used to because <laughs> there are none. we don't have any. <laughs> um, but if you take, you know, the yellow pages and you create a little bit of a lift, you're going to achieve that 90 degrees in your hip, mm -hmm. um, and you can rest your <laughs> keyboard on the desktop, so okay. you've got the 90 degrees again at the elbow, um, and and yeah, that's exactly. I'm using yoga blocks actually. Yoga sort of block, the perfect height. same thing, and you know you can use. What I also tell people um, is to either take a phone book or a yoga block and raise their monitors up uh -huh. so that that works beautifully as well. So they have these monitor things that are about, I'd say, four inches off the desk. Mm -hmm. It doesn't quite feel enough. It mm -hmm. feels like it should be about eight inches off exactly. the desk. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so when you're sitting, essentially you've got to figure out if you like the thing that pulls out, mm -hmm. the tray, or if you want it on mm -hmm. the desktop. That's the right. determining factor. And then mm -hmm. you go, how do I get my feet to the right height? Mm -hmm. Then my hands, your chair has to be adjustable. Right. And then you have to put your monitor at the right height. Right. Okay. And, and another thing that we should talk, point out, is that a lot of folks are sitting in a desk chair um, with arms. And so that prevents yes. them from getting close enough into the workspace. Okay. Um, so being mindful of that. And if you are sitting in a desk with arm, you know, an armchair, um, there are these arms that adjust on the chair. So we have ones that flip up in a lot of exactly. places. Exactly, and, and the reason is so that you can push under. Okay. Um, so people love arms or don't like arms, but you know, to have one that adjusts is really um, essential. So let me ask you more about arms. It's good to sit with your arms on an arm. Mm -hmm. It feels like it pulls Support. on your shoulders. Well, like, yeah. It's more yeah. supportive, yeah. but is there anything one needs to watch out for if you're not at a computer but you're just sitting in a meeting? <laughs> Second <laughs> highest thing I do every day. Sitting. A lot of sitting. A lot of sitting. We all do, this is what I hear all day long, you know, sitting um, 
is really not good for one's health. We all know <laughs> that, um, and we do it too much. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, again, the same rules apply. When we're sitting, um, we sit with comfort. We try to maintain good lower back support so that it transcends right on up. Mm -hmm. um, we try not to sit too long. Um, and, and in 30 minutes? Exactly, exactly. Ooh, that's going to be awkward. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's amazing. And yeah. what are you able to demonstrate while sitting? I don't even know the answer to this, and it's okay if it's no, but what one should do in that 30-minute break to open up, stretch, mm -hmm. get the posture mm -hmm. aligned, what do you what do? You do? <laughs> so typically um, what, what we want to do is open up the front of us. Um, so we do a variety of stretching exercises as simple as taking your hands for a demonstration <clears throat> and just keeping your elbows at, you. at your side of your body. And then what I tell people is I'll give them a piece of TheraBand or an elastic band. Mm -hmm. And I have them simply take the band, place it in their hands. Watch out, there's and, flowers here. <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> and just rotate out, open out, so that you open the front yeah. of your chest and you begin to strengthen mm -hmm. the back, the upper back. Um, this is a wonderful exercise to do while you're sitting. Even without the band. Exactly, exactly. Good. We do it without the band. We do it in a doorway where we, it's a little bit tough to demonstrate, but um, you take your arm and you place it in the doorway and then you start to walk your body away and again opening up mm -hmm. this region of your body. Mm -hmm. um, you can take this band and hold it in one hand and then just open out in, you know, and oppose, you know, right and left hand. These are all ways to begin some exercise to achieve what we're talking about. What about for the neck? Because this looks like mm -hmm. it's for the chest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you do for the neck? So another demonstration, real simple exercise. I'm sitting at my desk. I place my hand down in the downward position, and I actually sit on my hand to stabilize my shoulder, mm -hmm. okay? A little tough in this chair, but, and then I side bend ear to shoulder on the opposite side, and I tilt my gaze right to the floor, and I begin to stretch all of the muscles uh -huh. right through here. And do you go in different directions? Yep. So you're going yep. to ear to shoulder, exactly. and then are you going sort of exactly. chin to chest, and are you going and back at all? Well, typically That's hard in not. This position. Yeah, it's it's a little bit stressful if we have some neck problems uh -huh. to extend our heads back. Okay. So it's more people get tight where we want to stretch forward and side bent um, more so. And then what I I also suggest to folks is that they simply interlock their hands, place them right at the back of their head and just gently let the arms come forward and let the weight of my arms pull my head and neck mm -hmm. just to stretch from behind. So these are some very, very easy exercises to Free. do while I'm working. Yeah. Um, really, really simple things to do. And how um, long do you, when you're in this position, you're sitting on your hand, mm -hmm. And you're tipping your head over. Mm -hmm. How long does one hold that position? I, I, I suggest that folks hold between 10 to 15 to 20 seconds, depending on um, how they're feeling, um, you know, what kind of restrictions they have. So that's typical rule, to th rule of thumb. How many times does one do that? Mm -hmm. Frequently throughout the day. Meaning I um, do this, I sit on my hand, I do this for 10 to 20 seconds, mm -hmm. and then I go to the other side or I do this again on this side? So I would do about five repetitions on one side okay. and then repeat on the other side. Okay. Um, and essentially, Folks should, you know, try to do this if they're on a computer for an hour, 
they stretch in between. Um, so if they're on a computer for five hours, maybe they've gotten five sets in okay. um, throughout the day. And this is just to Five undo. sets of five? Or yes. five sets? And what if you have a minute between one mm -hmm. meeting and the next? Or, you know, <laughs> I see a lot of patients between one patient and the next. If you have a minute, you do 15, 20 seconds per side, one repetition mm -hmm. of each. Does this help? Because sure. I have people say, well, I don't have any time and, to do it, so forget and, it. And I hear that all day long. Yeah. Um, the, the issue is that they then, you know, a little <clears throat> bit of preventative maintenance for all of us mm -hmm. goes a mile. And, and that's really, you know, the truth. We're all guilty of the same thing. We're all overworked, over scheduled, mm -hmm. our kids, our, you know, all of us are guilty of the same thing. But I think taking, you know, that to, and I catch myself doing the same, you know, it's the same saga. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, to stay um, at the top of your game because you're feeling well um, really speaks volumes. So if you don't have time to do it all, is it worth doing some? Sure, it's always worth okay. doing some. So you start you know, with one and then build up to... Absolutely, you know, okay. it, you know it's, it's just about you know, what you can achieve, your personal goal. And everybody has a different personal goal mm -hmm. and uh, capability. So you know, we hope that, um, you know, that we can make a difference. Exactly. What about standing exactly. against a wall? You said you have people do that as an evaluation mm -hmm. tool. Do you do that as a treatment yes, tool too? We, that we, I, get your head back. Exactly. There are several exercises standing against the wall. Um, again, you can use that band. Mm -hmm. um, we have little hand weights. There's a number of different exercises um, to you know promote that postural. Um, alignment. Yeah, I, th I think probably the more technical we get, the more I have to say probably they should come see you for a mm. full evaluation mm -hmm. as opposed to <laughs> you can't get it all right. from from right. this. Right. But this is a good start. So yes. 90, mm -hmm. 90, mm -hmm. and then hands there, mm -hmm. mouse close, mouse close, monitor just slightly below eye level, the center of the monitor. Yeah, yeah. You know, the biggest thing that I hear is that people are working in very tight spaces, so their monitor is off to a side, or today, many, many people are on two monitors. Yes. So it's here and here, and all day long. <laughs> <laughs> You'd okay. be amazed. Okay. So that's bad. Not the well, best. They take it. well, but on the other hand, it does get mm -hmm. them moving. It gets them moving, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. As we wind down the show, yes, this has been amazing, Lori. I mean, this—I feel like we've just sort of tipped our toe mm -hmm. into the into the huge ocean of how to feel good at work. Yes, yes, it's it, it really is remarkable. Where I sit all day and listen to folks, you know with so many aches and pains yeah. related, I call it the white collar syndrome. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> because everybody's got some element or aspect of it and half of them don't even know it. Um, including our here. children, yes. including our children, which is sad. This has been amazing. I think we have to explore mm -hmm. this in another segment. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Visions for Health. I'm Wendy Trubo, and my guest today is Lori Sawyer, registered physical therapist.